six surgeries, a year and a half of chemo, and uh, six weeks of radiation therapy. And I'm still kicking in here on YouTube. Tell me the story. What is Don Terrace's story? How did you get from here into, you know, like, how did you lead up to YouTube and where you are today? All right. Well, it wasn't by choice. <laughs> it was kind okay. of by accident, if you will. Uh, almost five years ago, I ran uh, the warehouse here for Frito-Lay, uh, the chip guys, Ruffles and Lay's okay. potato chips. So I, I ran the, the night shift warehouse here so we would load all the trucks at night so they go out for deliveries in the morning that was what i was doing i was managing all the people here and um i one day i got just all the shakes at work i couldn't stop shaking and they brought me the doctors and they ended up running tests and they discovered i had stage three colon cancer at that point. oh no apparently the blockage was so large that they were surprised anything was getting through how, 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 how long ago was this? This is just about five years now. Okay. Just around the end of 2015. Um, so I ended up going in for my first surgery. I had a 50-50 chance of getting up from the table, I was told. So I came out of that, and then I was on chemotherapy, and they told me that, you know what? Uh, you know, you're going to have a rough time going forward for a little while. You might not be able to go back to work because my job was quite, quite physical, loading trucks and everything for a living. So I said, okay. So after about 30 days of sitting at home and going crazy uh, with nothing, like there's only so much TV you can watch before you start getting bored. Right. Um, and then I said, well, what if I can't go back? I need to make a living. So what can I learn while I'm at home? And I said, well, I know travel. I always thought about being a travel agent. So I started looking up courses for being a travel agent. I found a company I liked. I paid for it, signed up for it. And I did a whole year of just studying the travel industry, learning how to you know, do all the different types of bookings, what I wanted to specialize in what I knew I would be comfortable with talking about. And I knew cruises because I've been on a ton of them. So I said, all right, I'll specialize in cruising. How will people ever find me? I'm in nice. Ottawa. There's no ocean near me. <laughs> so I started YouTube. On all, and, and everybody, everybody said, Don, you're 50 years old. Who's going to watch you on YouTube? And at first, nobody watched me on YouTube. And the videos <laughs> were really bad. <laughs> but uh, and I tried all kinds of weird stuff. I mean, I had little cartoon mice running across the screen. and. Mickey Mouse voices, you name it. I was doing the weird stuff. Um, <laughs> but eventually, I just started getting into my groove, and I started just being myself on camera. And uh, now I'm here. I, I'm very successful as a travel agent. I'm doing really well on YouTube. I can't complain. Like, my whole life has changed. So And six surgeries, a year and a half of chemo, and... Uh, six weeks of radiation therapy, and I'm still kicking in here on YouTube. Gee, you not, that. well, not only are you 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 kicking it, like you're you're killing it, you know. It's just it's, just it's, it's, it's very you know flattering. Like, like, like I'm I'm thankful every single day. Um, I don't like to dwell on it too much. I just literally did a video a couple of days ago because Chadwick Boseman passed away. Yeah. Um, Black Panther, right? And mm -hmm. uh, he was diagnosed two months after, after I was with the exact same cancer. Wow. So it kind of struck home to me. And so I just did a little video and, you know, said how lucky I am and I condolences to the family and everything. And sure, number one video for the last two months, like everyone commented on it and liked it. And then they liked the fact that I was... I, I get so many messages from people saying that I have this, or I've been going through this, or my mother's going through this. And they just like the fact that they can still see me on YouTube and that I'm looks like I'm doing fine. And they know that they can do fine too. And if that's all that ever comes of YouTube, I have no regrets ever doing it because that's amazing to me. And I, I, I get messages all the time and I answer everybody. That's, that's great. Stuff. 
I, I love that, Don. And I love, I, I, I have to say that I think the, the audience that you've garnered um, across your social media channels is, is earned, not because of like what you went through. That's part of it. It's because of who you are. I feel like oh, there's a lot of people out there who in your same situation would have just given up or found an excuse not to keep going. But here you are. Yeah. And that's why I try and tell people is I, I have um, people who comment on me and said, you know, I, I started a YouTube channel or I started this job and it's, you know, it just doesn't seem to be going anywhere. I said, do you love it? Is that what you want to do? And they say, yes. I said, they just don't give up. It's going to take time, right? Nothing happens overnight. By no means. Uh, have you seen um, Lalita Loca, Tony and Jenny? on their ch their channel i haven't seen much but i know of them yeah, well uh, about two years ago or so tony messaged me and i was very small i i think i had like six thousand subscribers so no no big deal but he messaged mm -hmm. me and said uh, don youtube is changing how you get monetized and he says uh he says, we're, we're, we have all the hours we need, but we need to hit 1,000 subscribers, and we're at 800. Can you just give us a shout out? I said, Tony, I'd love to. I don't know what it's going to do for you because I don't know how many people even watch me. So I, I just mentioned them that one time, said, because I checked out some of their videos. I like their content. They were a nice couple. I said, go and check them out and see what happens. The next day, they reached their target. And then nice. by the next day after that, they hit 1,500 subscribers. So they, they made 500 more. Two years later, they're almost at 60,000 subscribers now. So they didn't give Amazing. up. They didn't. They just kept going. And that's oh, thanks why I bring that to every. No, because of what they're doing on YouTube. <laughs> I just got the word out a little bit for them. They would never have grown, you know, 60 times as large if they weren't doing something right. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So it, it's all in what they do. And they're, they're really good friends of mine. I've gone down and I've surprised them on cruises uh, for their anniversary. Oh, that's and awesome. Stuff like that. Yeah. We, in fact, this trip I'm doing, I mentioned I'm going driving to Vancouver uh, area starting tomorrow across country. It's a couple I met on the first cruise ship I went on when I started the channel. And now they're getting wow. married and they invited me to their wedding. How cool is that? That's super cool. Yeah. I, it, it's, it's so cool when you have that type of connection. And I feel like uh, it happens all, all in different um, places, different um, jobs, things like that. But, I, you know, for me, when that type of connection happens, especially on a cruise ship, like, for example, my wife, she's a cruise ship photographer. Yeah. And um, so she meets people all the time. And she had this one couple. Like, Hey, if you're ever in Pasadena, California, hit us up. You know, like we'd love to see you again. Well, little this was even before she met me. Well, that's when I was living in Pasadena. So when she went to come visit me, she was like, "Oh my goodness, I should hit up these people." And she did. They were so excited, and they went out for lunch. You know, just to make those those kind of connections is amazing. But it's so cool that. They've, they've made a connection with you, a strong enough connection that you're willing to drive to Vancouver. <laughs> and they're willing to invite me to their Just wedding. To the wedding, wedding. You know, how crazy right. is that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, because you know, to make it on a wedding list is not an easy feat. You've got to be pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I feel very honored. I feel a little bad, though, because I have my COVID body going on right now. Uh, mm. I've gained quite a bit sitting at <laughs> home here. Uh, gotta gotta fix that pretty soon. Um, but right. uh, at least I fit in my suit. I I, I checked, checked them out the other day, and I still fit in my suit, so I'm okay. okay. With that. All right, <laughs> all right. Black, black, right? It's very slimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or editing, where you can narrow it in. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just a little warp there. <laughs> that's why I found the green screen so off. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly right. So you know, you can't tell. You know, the background doesn't warp. 